Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I'm looking at Mel's story, which is a mod for Portal 2, which essentially has been released as a standalone build on Steam. You need to have Portal 2, but you don't need to have Portal 2 installed. Yeah, Portal Sto Stories Mel, that's what it is. And it is a very polished, very detailed uh, mod, and it's certainly not aimed at beginners. It doesn't hold your hand and take you through your relearning how Pro, uh, Portal works. No, it throws you straight in at the deep end, and uh, you are instantly blessed with an amazing knowledge of how Portal guns work, and gels, and, and all the other tricks that you've found in the past. Of course, you begin in a train in cha in 1952, chapter 1, 1952. Amphetamines keep you testing Is efficiently. Aperture cold. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Hi, Cave. Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. You sound a little sick. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you. So take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. Yes, we know how you dream. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait. Where are we again? Uh, okay, so... This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're going to put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Of course. So yeah, uh, Cave Johnson, I don't think, I'm pretty sure that's not the same actor unless they've seriously changed the recording system. This is amazingly detailed. They've got a lot of extra, you know, advertising. They're quantum gun. They're, they're look, it's a backpack-sized portal device. Look at that. It's beautiful, right? And of course, from the train, we can get glimpses of life at Aperture Science, circa 1952. All right, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait, Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? All right, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> you know, sometimes I edit my voiceovers when I make mistakes, but I'm not going to do that for the characters in the game. I'm sorry. Yeah, this thing, thing as a mod, and it is pretty professionally voiceovered the whole way through. There's something like 350 lines they've recorded. I think at least one of the characters is is has some sort of Scandinavian twang to his voice. It's kind of interesting. But look, now we can explore the station. There's all these uh, posters everywhere. Now, and as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out. And as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, sorry. Make that three minutes. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands-on. We get that echo from the outside PA system clearly from the, the speakers being far away. <laughs> I ah. told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> Just head through the door on the right to the elevator. 
You all know where to go. Oh look, there's Caroline. Yes, I suspect that she too is allergic to antimatter, right? That's what the poster was suggesting. Okay, so we're looking for the looking for the lift. Local entrepreneur buys salt mine. We have s at number two. They're always runners up. Look, what's this? This is Cave Johnson's Aperture, you know, whatever. Shower curtain salesman. Aperture Cola, of course, because I really need some more amphetamines. And to what's down here? So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously, though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Yes, sir! Sounds like a great job offer. Okay, so we have maps, and of course we're in an elevator now, and we get a little bit of loading. So. Yeah, I guess the original Aperture Science stuff that we see in Portal 2, that is a, an abandoned salt mine, or rather a, a converted salt mine that has been abandoned by people and left to me, whatever. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. What's this? I hope it's dramatic. I like dramatic things. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss my Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here. And I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Aha! Uh -huh. That sounds familiar. Anyone want to place bets on just how short-term short-term is supposed to be and will actually be? Yeah, please keep your legs inside the elevator because it would be unfortunate. It would be very hard to relax if you were missing a leg or two. While you're at it, you should probably keep your hands and you know head and everything else inside. Is there anything else floating? I see a lot of goo lines. So I'm trying to remember which goo does what. But if you remember Portal 2, there were basically three colors: red, blue, and white. When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry though, our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes, uh, an hour at most if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry, we've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. Me and science! I like it when science wins. Science can do great things when it is allowed to win. When, you know, people's preconceptions don't get in the way. Hey guys, I'm on my way down to do science! Are you happy? You excited? Oh, bottom flange. Apparently there's someone that likes to graffiti here. Oh, and maybe somebody providing some hints to some sort of puzzle. 5,500 meter M? I'm presuming that means I'm 5,500 meters underground, which is pretty deep. Aperture Science Laboratories. Innovators! Established 1940. Yes, look at that. It's beautiful. There's just a lot going on so, here. As I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick deep sleep. And then you're done. 
That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what the crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys, disappear because of him. Oh yeah, the Aperture Science turrets that we all know and love. And another runner-up award for Aperture Science. Don't worry, those turrets won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy area lights me. It's pretty impressive for 1952 technology. Also, I will point out that the term astronaut hadn't really entered popular use in 1952. The, the Mercury 7 weren't selected until, like, 1959. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Are you sure? I'm kind of worried about that sed sedative level. It looks rather high for me. But, okay, I presume you guys have done the calculation, you know, taken into account my body mass and uh, your body chemistry, all this other stuff. I'm sure this will be a short sleep. Just checking the clock as, of course, it closed down there. Good night. Good night. I just imagine a turret saying that to me. I can't see you. Good night. <laughs> I don't think I can do impersonations of those turrets. The, the Portal games are, you know, flawless. Okay, Portal 1 is purely flawless. Portal 2 is great, adds all sorts of cool things. And uh, it's really good to see that people are still putting together really high quality content that is in the Portal universe. But now, yeah, how long did I, uh, how long was my short relaxation? I suspect it was more than a few minutes. Anyone want to place bets? Was it days? Weeks? Months? Years? Decades? Centuries? I mean, <laughs> you know, I don't actually know the timeline of the Portal universe. Is the... is... is the thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right, you can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry though, we got shot okay. Nothing's different, nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber, I'll tell you a bit more out there. Oh look, there's me on the left there. I'm not an astronaut, I merely play one on the internet. Okay. Look, th this is great! Look at the amount of work that must have gone into this, right? Don't worry about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boot. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. Well, no time like the present to test these, and great. So like any other Portal game, you can pretty much fall as far as you like. They haven't changed that, because that would be evil. If you had to deal with, you know, fall damage in a Portal game, that would not be a very fun game. Oh, hey! Hi, guys! Remember me? Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists leave you a new device to help you. Yeah, that's right. A new test. Congratulations! You get to test something else now. Double the experiments for you. Woohoo! Extra experiments! And an AHPD! I'm guessing what this is. Old Reliable. This looks rather familiar. Obviously I'm saying that as a game player, not as this character who would be seeing this for the first time in their life and would be wondering what the heck this is. But yes, looks like old faithful to me. There's an open door nearby. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. Don't worry though, we built the building like this. Uh, don't worry about that. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper, to get more testing spheres in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just ignore that. I'm sorry, you're not the most convincing individual I've ever had to deal with. So yeah, I've figured out that there's a there's a white wall here, white wall there, and down I fall. Okay, great. We can take a look back down there now. Find the next location out of here. Can't get through those doors. Ah, I see a wall here. You just when you play Portal long enough, you immediately c 
can recognize whether a wall will take the will take a portal. It becomes like a fine-tuned sense, able to recognize these walls instantly. Don't mind all this too. We just had uh, earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, you get lots of those here in Michigan. I'm no geologist, but I'm pretty sure that Michigan is geologically one of the more boring states in terms of earthquakes. I could be wrong on that. I do, certainly don't want to put Michigan down because, you know, Detroit, you know, Detroit techno, very important to me. But yeah, not a lot of earthquakes out that way as far as I know. Okay, so I guess this is the way down. These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yeah, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. Again, you're not convincing me. All right, so, the earthquakes. Kind of did some redecorating in here. Destroy the door too. You'll have to find another way out. Now, I can't help but notice that the actor's accent does have some sort of Scandinavian twang to it, if you ask me. Maybe, may, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm imagining it, but he doesn't sound like a pure American. But I mean, his, his voice work is pretty good. I, I don't know who, who the credits are or whatever, but it's really nice to see this level of voice work in a, essentially a mod. There, we have a place to put a portal. Okay. And the other portal is through there. You can use to launch yourself over the door. There has to be another way out. Yes, I suspect it will involve conservation of momentum. Or rather, a fast thing goes in, a fast thing comes out, or whatever. Oh, look, look at the portal gun. See one of the prongs? It's it's like a little uh, paper clip instead. Okay, so this, I think this is a goo pipe. Goo, goo, goo. And this is a goo pump. Let me flick that. Yes, bring forth the goo to do my bidding. Ooh. Uh, yeah, children, that's pretty funny. Okay, so we get stuff coming out there and spraying out the front of the building. One of these things is going to shoot me. I'm pretty sure if I don't, if I'm not careful. Yeah, look at that. Oh, shoot you away! Oh wait, I knock it over and now it starts shooting. What the heck? Okay, so we're making a runway here. What I'm gonna do is use the red. So the red stuff is a speed gel, right? Which means you can run along the red speed gel super fast. So I'm gonna run run along it, hit a portal, and transition through to a portal up here, and hopefully project myself across the balcony or across this upper space and out the front door to safety, or possibly not. I mean, I think I'm pretty safe down here. The question really is. Do I want to stay down here? Blue, there we go. Run, jump! Oh, yes. Excellent. Looking good so far. I know, things might look different than what you're used to, but uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some some uh, aperture science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys. Faster than any science guy I got. Okay, so now... Now we gotta figure out where I'm going. There's no. There's nothing through this way. Where is the next section? And that door's closed. I, there was no. They've moved out all the cars, which is a shame because it would be really cool to drive around in a car with a portal gun and do. I don't know, you could create like potholes in the road, which would be kind of interesting, but probably not. Oh, wait, look! Yeah, I should have just seen this. There was a little stairway and ra ladder. To Enrichment Sphere Bravo Volta. Warning, this enrichment shaft may contain unsafe quantities of cosmic ray spallation elements. Door is one of the new testing tracks. Totally, completely new. Get through it and head to the first testing sphere. I'll let you know more there. Are you sure this is the only way out of here? Now, I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through, and installed one where people needed to go through. 
So when you say that it stops people from going through, what do you mean? It like stops them moving or or what? Is this a thing? It looks kind of red. What happens if I walk through it? Well, it kills me. Not even a scream and a, you know, your heart rate or a pulse rate monitor. Nope, just death and reloading. People from going through and installed one where people needed to go through. So I'm guessing he is telling me that I need to go through here. I just need to figure out how to get through there. Is there a way, a place I can place a portal on the other side? I see a place to place a portal there. And a nice little set of departure times. Unfortunately, I don't think the public transport is running at this time. I'll just drop a portal there just in case. Oh, maybe I can get up here and find something cool. Look, it's a beam that's fallen at an angle. It must lead somewhere. No, it doesn't. It's just been put there to troll me. Me and my way of understanding classic memes in video games. Okay, so I still want to turn that thing off. I'm not going to walk into it again. And I can't see a place inside these objects to go. So, where, 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 where? Now, now I'm really thinking hard. I can't get a, I can't get a bolt through there. How about, how about, is there a, a switch in here or something? Uh, well, repulsion gel is, of course, a a diet aid. It's supposed to make you eat less by making stuff. Oh wait, there's a switch. Never mind. Breaker 0135B. You can easily turn it back on. That switch isn't like the rest of them. The others trip a circuit breaker that causes an entire part of the facility's power grid to blow up. So, remember, the one in here is good. All others, bad. So you're basically telling me not to flip power switches? I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help. Yeah, I guess what I'm supposed to do here. Hold on. So there's a switch there, but it doesn't activate... These things are dead too. These computers are long dead, but they look like super high technology stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna use the portal to go through and I think maybe I need to turn that power back on because he did say that I could turn that power back on, right? Go through here, turn right, and there's the power switch. You can always turn the power on or off again. Yeah. And that's what I just did. Look, and now I can take the portal back through to the other side and hopefully, Hopefully pretty, pretty please. Yes, now we have switches at work. So hold on. Let me just see. If I pull this, what happens? Tick, tick. And then it stops. Okay, so it's a super fast tick. Which, to me, means that I need to portal to between the two different ones. Standard trick. Come on, quick. Oh, man, I'm not fast enough. Try again. Come on, get both switch set at the same time. That's all I need. Ah, oh, seriously? Thank God. Okay, so now we've got that fixed. Hallelujah. Wow, now that is a big door. That is like the mother of big doors. Is, is, are doors bigger than that in this, in any other games? Obviously, there must be doors bigger than that in some games for their spaceships. But that, I have to say, is a pretty big door. Okay. Oh, and power comes back on. So the way forwards, I think I can shoot portals into that space there. Now, hold on. Let's do it at the bottom of the stairs. Bingo. And there's my orange one. I'll just reuse this. And ta-da. Yep, totally got all the way over here. Now, next, need to up and run around the corner. We need to figure out where my people are. Those doors lock? Nope. Rubble. And dead end. Okay, so, 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 where can I put a portal? Give me a place to put, there, there's a place to put a portal up there. I suspect that is how we're supposed to proceed forward. Okay, so run back around the corner. Run down and say, hello. Great. No. I'm guessing this is red gel. This would probably be really bad if this stuff spilled right now. Probably be hilarious, but yeah, probably wouldn't be good. Now i got to figure out what way I'm going here. So I can teleport through. The new testing track is just through here. 
Yay, more testing! Oh, antimatter risks. No horseplay. Don't push people into vats of antimatter. On account of if you do that, they would actually convert themselves into energy. Oh. Hey, shoot you! Come on, come on! Oh, oh crikey! Oh, no, Things are falling apart. Just to test your uh, reflexes, you know, after your short sleep. Yes, a very short sleep. Are you going to tell us how long my short sleep actually was? Because I'm beginning to spec there was more, more than three minutes. Unfortunately, I don't have any other reference frame. I guess they didn't make wristwatches in the 1950s. Nothing else coming. Nothing else is coming. If there was other stuff coming, that could be problematic. Could be very problematic. But there we go, look! I think this is us finally escaping the level and on to greener pastures, other levels, etc. So yeah, this is Portal Stories Mail. It's free on Steam for Portal 2 owners. Check it out. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.